Seven-nine Adam, this is Central BCC. Multiple SWAT units responding code three to CP at 127th and Adelaide. Barricade situation. Watch out, let me, I'm jugging. Dissect your hand if your hand in my foot and put two in your man if your man keep a looking. Act like a poop, read your biscuit took it. I'm not the type to go with them niggas who fuck with them niggas who stay on some fish. Oh, Yugging, trapping out the band, though. From the center. You need to watch this short video until the end so you don't miss any direction to accomplish in these tricks. And the question still remains Is Kinemaster good for YouTube videos? The answer is yes. What you just saw was filmed with a Sony A6400. Two Sigma lenses and the camera was mounted on a Xeon Weevil S and the video was color graded and edited with KineMaster. Now, are you going to be able to edit a movie like you would with Premiere Pro? Probably not. Just like you wouldn't with any other editing software because every software is different than the other. But that is not the point. The point is to obtain professional results with a reliable editing software. And yes, KineMaster is an editing software in the form of an app. Today's video's idea was suggested by one of our viewers, so a big shout out to Amax TV from Ghana for the idea. To prove my point that KineMaster is good for YouTube videos, I am going to use a video sample from Nick Nimmin. Nick Nimmin is a well-respected creator within the industry and one of my favorite YouTubers. I am going to replicate a feature that I saw on one of his videos, a speed ramping zoom in and out. Now, Nick Nimmin uses Vegas Pro to do his speed ramping zoom in and out. Let me show you how you can do exactly the same utilizing KineMaster. Then I am going to show you how you can take it to the next level. Without any further ado, let's go under. Open KineMaster. Tap on the plus button and select your aspect radio. If this video is for YouTube, select 16 by 9. Now, you are going to select a clip from your library, but you need to make sure that this clip is a one-take clip. Next, you are going to highlight that clip by tapping on it. Utilizing two fingers, you are going to extend it completely. Now, the reason why I need to do this is because the zoom in and out happens within one frame out of the 60 frames per second I am utilizing to record this video. Find the part of your clip where you want your zoom in to start. Tap on your clip, tap on the scissors button, and tap on split a playhead. Move your clip to the left until split a playhead lights up. Tap on split a playhead, and tap on that clip. Tap on the pin and zoom button, and tap on the end position and do your zoom in. Hit OK, and tap on the next clip. The next clip is in the original position, so you want it to zoom in to match the previous clip. Tap on the pan and zoom button, unify both clips, and do your zoom in. Hit OK, make sure that it matches the previous clip. It doesn't, so you go back out a little bit, and there you have it. The zoom in is complete. Now, tap on the next part of the clip where you want to zoom out to start. Tap on that clip and repeat the same step. Tap on the scissors button, tap on split a playhead, move your clip until split a playhead lights up, split it, tap on that clip, tap on the pin and zoom button, mark the end position and do your zoom out. Hit OK and move to the next clip. Tap on that clip. Tap on the pin and zoom button and zoom out to match the previous clip. Hit OK. Make sure that they match. If you hit play, you are complete with your zoom in and out. Zoom in, zoom out. Now let me show you how you can take this effect to the next level. Ready? Your message has the potential to make a bigger impact 
if you use this trick correctly. Let's do that again, but this time let's use a zoom in and out at a specific point to make it part of the conversation and let's add a whooshing sound to make it more dramatic. Ready? Your message has the potential to make a bigger impact if you use this trick correctly. So, is Kinder Master good for professional YouTube video? Let's put it this way. If you give Peter Mackin on your cell phone, he will make an epic movie with it. Now, do you think that we can make the same epic movie if we have access to Peter Mackin's equipment? You see, the result of your content is related to your imagination and perseverance, not the equipment. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate that notification bell, and I will see you next time on the water.